Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and lovers of drones and supercars everywhere, welcome to Thursday Night Live. I'm Ken Heron, and this is Michael Ingram with Extreme Experience. Extreme! And uh, maybe Michael could walk up to the cat. There's a cat in the tire. Look at the cat. Oh, is he in there? I knew yes, the cat is. would end up in the tire. And I know what everybody's thinking. Will the cat walk on the supercars? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. No, he won't. All right. He won't. We, <laughs> we, Why don't you we walk up to the there. camera and show everybody what you look like? And tell everybody What's who you up? are. He's the owner of Extreme Experience. That is incorrect. That is not correct. I can't, no. take, I can't no, take that. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, my name is Michael Ingram. I am a videographer here with Extreme Experience. Um, I do video video and photography for the company, and I have the pleasure of getting to do all of this incredible work with all these supercars all day, every day, and I am seriously blessed uh, to have this job. And, but, and uh, we're gonna give away yeah. a ride in one of those cars, and if you would, before you leave that position, uh, yes. would you point to the uh, the new thing you got, the new drone? Would you Ooh, point to the Avada right too? Yeah. This one right here? Yeah, he got oh, that today. I just my coffee, look at that. Just released today, and he got that. Just and released. Are you gonna fly that around the supercars? Uh, not at the moment. No, no okay. I don't, think, right. I, I don't well, think I will. But we will check that <laughs> out. I had, to, I, had to, I had to get up right and early to uh, pick one up before they, Yeah. I didn't know if they were gonna be sold out for like the next two or three weeks, so I had to, pick, had to grab one real quick. <laughs> All right, well, while he heads back to his uh, desk there, I'm gonna let everybody know, here's here's how we're gonna do it, because I know a lot of you are here just for this, All right? Uh, the value of these rides is, is, is pretty up there, and you can get to pick any car. Is that right, Michael? That is correct, yes. So we have, oh man, should I just list them off real quick? We have a 296 GTB, C8 Corvette, 488 GTB Ferrari, Lamborghini Huracan, Porsche GT3, 911. We also have the GT4 RS. <laughs> Um, Hellcats that we have for our ride-along cars. I, speaking of cats, and I'm just yes. <laughs> look at this. Is he still? He's still on <laughs> the time. That's where I would be if I was a cat. Yeah. What are you doing? Come here. What's the name of the cat? <laughs> he, he's gonna come back. Otto. Otto. O T T O, but it sounds like auto, like auto. Ah, that's nice. Yes. Okay. So here's how we're gonna yes. do it. Uh, during the course of the stream, we're not gonna give it away till the end. So if you want to win a ride in a supercar around a track. You have to stick around to the end, okay? But during the course yes, yes. of the stream, I'm going to have uh, Michael pick someone, and then he's going to write their username down on a piece of paper and throw it in the cat house, I mean the tire. And then at the end, <laughs> that is great. he's going to roll the tire around, mix them up, and then we're going to pick someone. Speaking of which, why don't we just go ahead and do that right now. Pick me, pick me in the chat right now if you want to qualify. Just put pick me, pick me, and Michael will pick one of you. This will be about one of, I'd say, seven. One of seven times that we'll do this. And then you have a one in seven chance of winning. All right? Ooh, that yeah. is a good one. So there is a little bit of lag, so we'll just wait. Now, the members have the red pick me, pick me oh, sign. Oh, I see that. Yeah, but I you don't have that. to just okay. pick them. You know, everybody's eligible. Um, All right. All so right. if you're not a member, don't worry. Although, if you are a member, you are going to... Love the membership content that we just recorded. I'm going to let a bunch of people get in here. Let's yep. roll around. All right. So this is nice. for, and the, you can pick any car you want to take around the track. And I did it. It was right. fantastic. We're going to play some outtakes right. from one. my visit for you. You got somebody? Yes, sir. All right. And we're going to just ball them up and throw them in the tire. And then at the very end of the show, we'll pick someone. So, uh, on the show today, of course, lots of car stuff. Um, I've got some surprises for Michael. And, Ooh. yep, we've got uh, Jeff Sills with the news. And we've got Otto the Cat. And it's going to be a, just a wonderful time. But first, ladies and gentlemen, we can't forget our biggest sponsor. It's a perfect time to grab you a bag of the Cadillac of processed meat. I'm talking about Pigeon. Yo. Jerky! You'll enjoy pigeon jerky. Pigeon jerky, the Cadillac of processed meats. You'll enjoy pigeon jerky. Pigeon jerky, and you'll give your family a treat. It's balanced nutrition to help them grow. Yeah. And it's full of fiber to make them go. Here we go. You'll enjoy pigeon jerky. Pigeon 
and jerky, the Cadillac of processed meat. I mean, the Lamborghini of processed meat. That's right. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where, where um, can I pick up this pigeon jerky? Oh, yeah, it's it's uh, wherever you uh, purchase your, your your pigeon jerky. It's available at all pigeon jerky outlets across the country or at uh, com. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> now I want to play some of these outtakes from my visit here in, Ooh, in, in, yes, in, in just, just a moment. Um, but uh, do tell us a little bit more for those who are just joining, because I see we're having some people pour in now. Uh, while mm -hmm. I play this amazing video. Tell us a little bit more about the Extreme Experience. Yes, yeah, so here at Extreme Experience, you can kind of think of us as kind of like a traveling concert. Um, the main thing is we give everyday people, people that are not millionaires, the ability to hop inside of a supercar um, and be able to drive these things on a racetrack or on the open road. Mm -hmm. We actually have two separate programs. But yes, so we go to racetracks all around the country, just like I said, like a traveling concert. We basically load everything up, and we head to the East Coast, we head to the West Coast, we head Midland. Um, we kind of go all over the country, so we are most likely at a location that is near you guys. And once again, just give you the ability to drive these things flat out on a racetrack. Um, a few common things we get is, are there governors on the cars? No, there are no governors. Mm. These things are full power. All, everything is at your foot, ready to go. And, and there, um, but you do have there, an insurance. Yes, you do up. have an insurance waiver. Um, uh, you that have to correct. have yep. you have to have the ABS on. I found out. <laughs> yes, he did ask <laughs> if he could turn it off <laughs> during the class. I did. Yeah, that was actually pretty. That was pretty funny. I yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, all of that kind of stuff does have to stay on. Obviously, it is a safety issue. But these things, I mean, they shift faster than you could shift. I mean, all these cars, the, the transmissions that are in these things are just incredible. And even the trash control systems, I mean, you're hitting, you know, depending on the racetrack and the length of the straightaway at that racetrack, you could hit anywhere upwards of 155 miles an hour. Yeah. So, I mean, you um, can, you can really be flying in these things. So w would you be able to right now, just very briefly, now we gave an extensive tour during the, the membership video. Could you just show mm -hmm. us around a little bit, maybe just pan yeah. the camera? Cause I know of there's course. a lot of, I know my audience, and there's a lot of car people in the audience. Well, this is uh, this is perfect then. It really so, is. Uh, so this, this, if you're curious, this is the base of their operations. This is in their warehouse in Chicago. Yes, that is correct. And this so is. So let's do a really quick. Yeah. Oops, Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, quick walk around. So we got our 488 Ferrari GTBs. We got our Porsche 911s right <laughs> yeah. here. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Another Porsche right there. This is our Huracan Evo, which is actually one of our open road cars, as you can kind of see by the windshield up there. Uh huh. So you can put the top down while you drive these things down some amazing scenic back roads all around the country. The same yeah. with this car. It's one of our open road cars. Yeah. Another Huracan over here. Oh, look at that. Matt, Matt, oh, Matt Gray. Okay. This thing okay. is, yes, this thing is beautiful. Oh. 488. Oh, my goodness. This one specifically, if you guys watch Ken's video, you may uh, you may you may know all about that. What happened in this in this specific hurricane? Yeah. <laughs> we do have this is our kind of technician bay, real quick. So this is where our technicians will be working on the vehicles, getting them all prepped and ready to go. Yeah. We do have a CA Corvette up here with our Z51 package. And you you, you, you guys are, there. oh yeah, you guys are in the tire of the month club, tire tire of the uh, week club. <laughs> All tires. That entire all, wall. All tires. Is all, all yeah, right. Bridgestones, Pilot Sports. Oh. And last but not least, this is one of my favorites. We added this to the fleet this year, but this is a Porsche Cayman GT4 RS as oh. the engine of the 911 GT3 RS. Oh, my goodness. In a different placement and in a smaller and lighter chassis. Beautiful car. Lots Look of at that. Fiber. Oh, so much fun. I, I'm, I'm feeling compelled to... Pick me, pick me, pick me again. Let's do it one more time. Oh, we're doing it. We're, we're doing, doing it. it. We're one doing more it. time. We're going to pick somebody to qualify to win a ride in a track near you. Now, what kind of locations do you have around the country? I know there's people watching in other countries that unfortunately won't be able to, unless you want to fly to the United States and well, do that, this. I mean, that is the beautiful part about it. So say there is a specific racetrack that we go to. So if you go to extremeexperience.com, Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have a map, a location um, map that is on there so you could find 
whatever racetracks are around. Where is that on the website here? Uh, so you'll go to the website and you'll hit locations right at the top. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So oh, we have yeah. a little interactive map on there. Look at that. Which is really nice. All right. So there's going to be one near you. Pretty much. Yeah. There is. Yeah. I mean, we are in most like most areas um, and you can also fly to an event. So say, for example, you know, you win this drive and you really wanted to go, you know, race at, say, Circuit of the Americas in Texas and you might live somewhere else. You could always fly and make a little trip out of that. And, you know, that could be part of kind of like your vacation. So people do and they and, and they and they, um, they gift these, um, it, it, you know, I'm sure if if you're not a car person yourself, you've got one in your life. And now uh, Michael has picked another qualifier. That's qualifier number two. Pretty much in the first 10 oh, minutes of the show. We, we do have to make sure that if you are entering your name in here, you must be 18 years old and have a valid driver's license. You have to. You have to. You have to. So yes. if we pick you and you don't have that, wah, wah. then I guess we're going to have to give it to someone else. Well, yeah, we'll have to get, we'll ha I'll take it. I will, I will hold it for them. I promise I'll give Sounds it to good. them. Yeah. All right. So we got someone and, and we put them in the tire. We got someone. Let's put them in the tire right, right. now. We're putting another qualifier in the tire. The qualifier tire. In the tire. Quali Ooh, I like that. The qualifier tire. Like that. Excellent. And, and uh, All right. So we got the news coming up, and, and there's a lot in the news. But first, I do want to share a little bit um, with everyone about my visit. So very quickly, t tell everyone how that came about. How did it come about that you were my new bestest friend? Oh, yes, we did become best <laughs> friends, actually. Yeah. Um, so Ken actually reached out. Let's see, the event was you came on Saturday. Right. And I saw an email in my inbox on Wednesday so he actually called and he wanted to know if he could fly his drone at our event. And I got forwarded the email from Laura, who is my coworker. She works with me, does her social media. And I saw in the subject line, Ken Heron, and I have been an avid watcher of Ken's for years and years and years. I've always, wow. I've been into drones. I'm a drone guy myself. Yep. Um, and I've been watching Ken for a very, very long time. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, we're going to make this work. We're going to figure out how to make it happen. Yay! So uh, I gave, gave him a call and let him know that, um, you know, we'll try to do our best to make it work. And it did. And I was actually in Indiana. Oh, that's right. And you drove to Nashville to, to that do is this. That's correct. So that same weekend, we were in Indiana and Nashville at the exact same time. From here, Indiana is about three and a half hours. Right. And Nashville is about another four and a half hours from there. And I drove to Indiana. So. I decided why not just drive up there and yeah. uh, try to make it. And I'm so, glad you did. It, yeah. Everything came together. But the impetus of this came from Drone Rob. I want to thank Drone Rob because he, it was his idea. He's like, hey, Ken, you want to drive a supercar? I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. Yes, I do. And so it was, it was Drone Rob's idea to do this. And uh, thank you, Drone Rob. So we will see some outtakes and video from him and I and Michael a little bit later, but right yes, now, Rob, thank you for coming. It was a blast meeting you as well. Yes. Uh, but right now let's go ahead and get into the news. Stop the music. It's time for news. Heading into the drone newsosphere with our buddy, Jeff Sills, lots and lots of news, including a new DJI product. Yes, yes, Jeff. I'm being upstaged by cars. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, your beard okay. is great, but you know. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. uh, so the news is brought to you by Camera Butter, mm -hmm. ultra high quality ND filters, screen protectors, and FPV accessories. If you want no compromised performance from your camera, you need to get you some Camera Butter. CameraButter.com. Indeed. Indeed, sir. All right. So, starting with the news, if you, uh, if you don't fly drones, and you haven't you watched YouTube with any kind of drone filter at all, then you probably don't know that the DJI Avada 2 was released today. Mm -hmm. um, so the DJI Avada 2 uh, is, is out now uh, and available for purchase. Uh, if you're on Amazon, the Flymore combo with a phone battery is $999. The Flymore combo with three batteries is $1,199. Um, this particular drone uh, brings to uh, fruition a new viewing angle of 155 degrees. 
It's uh-huh. 4K resolution at 60 frames per second with mm-hmm. a 2.7K resolution at 120 frames per second. Right. Uh, owners will be given 46 gigabytes of storage in the future. That's good. Um, video transmission distances of 13 kilometers or basically a little over eight miles. Um, a battery life is set for 23 minutes, but it'll take about 40 minutes to fully recharge your drone. Okay. So, well, and yeah. it always also using a one point or one dash one point three inch image sensor. How much is the thing? Well, uh, if you're uh, buying it on Amazon, it's nine hundred ninety nine dollars for the Flymore battery or Flymore combo with one battery. And yeah, eleven ninety nine for the Flymore combo combo with uh, three batteries. And he, but here's the thing: that one one push button flip thing is stupid. <laughs> That's yes. like something you'd put yes. on a toy drone, mm-hmm. right? You agree, Michael? Uh, yes. Uh, you also have to factor in it doesn't come with the actual RC controller, so you have to purchase that separately. Right. It only comes with the motion controller. Right. So that's another $200. Well, $300 if you go to Best Buy in Jackson, Tennessee. <laughs> that's crazy. There, yeah, that <laughs> is crazy. crazy. Right. So um, you've got yours already, Michael. Yes. I, I went first thing this morning, picked one up. Yes. And uh, I picked mine up Saturday. So have you flown it? What is it like? I have. So um, I don't know. Should we open it up? What do you think? Nah. What's uh, next on the no? news, Jeff? Okay. <coughs> All right. So yeah, next. No. Always... Yeah. Open that thing. <laughs> open it up. Do it. <laughs> do it. Um, so I did fly just a little bit today. Once again, using the motion controller. Very lightweight. I think it's about 30 or 30 to 50 grams lighter than the Avada one. I've not flown the Avada one, but bring I mean, it, the profile of it, bring everyone it closer. says that it, bring there's it, not as much prop wash. Bring it closer. Really to well. the, bring it closer to the camera. We want to see. Yes, it's also yes, supposed yes, 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 to be quieter than the original. It is extremely quiet compared right. to the original. And it's got uh, now, a, a three blade prop versus the that five. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. And it's a little, the sure footprint's a little bit bigger, so it won't fit in your original Avada case. So it is shorter, but yes, it is wider mm. from uh, side to side, but it is shorter. Okay. Wise. Um, so far, what I could see is like the video, because as a videographer, video quality is very important to me. And I could tell right now, I haven't put it into 4K or 10 bit and just in full HD, it looked amazing already. So I'm really excited to kind of test it out some more. The goggles are really cool. So a lot of people, you know, were wondering if, the cameras that are on the front, so it has the two kind of pass-through cameras on the front, how that was going to be. Yeah, how it's is it? It's nice because now you could double tap on it, and it changes your view to those cameras. So you could see what's in front of you. But if you're a photographer, imagine looking out of a 50-millimeter lens that's really zoomed in, uh-huh. and it's it's it throws you off. It's kind of weird. I don't know if you can make it wider or not in settings. I haven't tried. Okay. But the goggles 2, um, goggles 3, the goggles also kind of rest – like right up here on your forehead, which is really nice. A lot of people said with the old ones, I've never worn them, but they said it pinches really bad. So these are honestly really comfortable. Batteries in the back, so it kind of distributes the weight, the weight yeah. really, really well. Okay. And so far, I love these. Like these are, I could wear these for hours, honestly. So you don't have um, the original uh, Avada, but that I, is correct. And I yes. Was, uh, from what I've gathered, the controller two won't work with this. You have to have, or they have to have the controller three. I right? believe so, yeah, because I think this uses the 04 transmission yes, system. Yes, the 04, and I, that's going to give you better low light, probably, I'm guessing. Yes. Yes. Well, because uh, the, the Drone 2, it has a 1 over 1.3 inch center on it, which is going to be larger than the Avada 1s, which is a 1 over 1.7, I believe. So this will gather more low light. What I've seen so far, what I've seen in reviews, because all the videos showed up today because the embargo was lifted. Everyone said it looks really good at night. Uh huh. Um, oh, the dildo. Also, the, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is your controller. You could actually go backwards now by pulling up on this. Uh huh. And I've never used one of these before. I'm waiting for my controller. I'm an acro guy. But if you're flying indoors, I'm not gonna lie. This can. It's very intuitive, and it does it does work. Does it? But yes. But if you're going to be doing dives and all, you're not going to be doing that with this. So you're going to need the actual controller. Okay. And you said so far you, you trusted it. enough to fly it in that room with millions of dollars of cards. That is correct with with this controller because the thing is so with this drone it has 
Actually, I'm come back up front. Okay. I should just stay up there for a minute. Because huh? we want you to fly it through the tire. I I probably could. That, actually, that I could do that. I totally could do that. <laughs> okay. So you could see a lot of people were wondering if it had rear um, obstacle obstacle avoidance with these two cameras right here. So it has the LiDAR on the bottom. Oh. These are actually not obstacle avoidance. It's basically to when you're in indoors where there's no GPS, helps it for just positioning on the ground. So I was actually flying this like over by the garage door, not by the cars. No. But I was actually able to easily just go through the rafters with a joystick because the thing is when you're in manual, you have to constantly keep, you know, the altitude perfect. Yeah. Whereas when you're using the motion controller, it just stays like locked in space and you just go forwards and backwards. Right. And also with the head tracking, you could fly forwards and then turn your head. Oh, oh okay. And it, it will keep it will keep going forwards. Ooh. I think they, the first one did that. I don't know. And then you could look up and down with a gimbal, which uh, is something you, you just can't do with a regular. I don't know FPV about drone. that. I'll have to try that. But just just for a moment, I want to point pretty, out to everybody that uh, this is a this is a red letter day um, to have a brand new drone and uh, uh, millions of dollars worth of supercars in the same <laughs> shot. Uh, uh, who yes. else is giving you this? Who else? It, me. I'm, I'm doing that. <laughs> this is an exclusive. It really exclusive. is. This is this is a red letter day. Now, did you say maybe later you would fly that for us so we could hear it? Or I could. Yeah, I, it's so much. Uh, just okay. From all the videos that I've heard of the Avada one, this is so much quieter. Okay, we'll like, do this that. This is 81 decibels, and the other one's 90. We'll do that later. Yeah, because because Jeff is itching to f finish with the news. We'll do more <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, Avada two stuff in a little bit. All right, so next in the news, researchers uh, for the National Weather Service uh, decided that they were going to fly a drone to a maximum altitude of nearly two miles as part of a test with NASA. This particular drone was designed to be able to study radiation, mm. and they were going to use this to capture uh, radio, radio sons and drop sons uh, to collect atmospheric data from the the changes that the eclipse would have in the Earth's atmosphere, hmm. um, so they got permission to fly a drone two miles in the air. That's that's pretty good. I mean, NASA gets away with stuff like this. So yeah, it's cool. yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So next in the news, this one this one caught my eye, and I just had to share it. Uh, this is out of Russia. It's a place uh, near Kamchatka. There was a person who lost a husky, and so they were desperate to find their dog and they decided to start using a, or using their drone to see if they could find him <laughs> they did he was hanging out with bears this is amazing <laughs> were the yeah. i guess the bears weren't hungry at that point yeah no no it's just he's out hanging out with bears just hanging know, out with playing bears with them playing with them you know running around them you know wrestling with them it's just it's absolutely hilarious <clears throat> my question is is how, how do you how do you get your dog back <laughs> right yeah. yeah you know it's not like you can just walk up and get the dog so yeah i guess you have to wait Look at until the, they like, stop playing with the dog <laughs> the, the bears aren't wanting to hurt them the bears are cool with it oh yeah what amazing, amazing footage yeah amazing footage and uh and hopefully he got his dog back or at least parts of his dog back yes parts <laughs> all right so we have all had the problem of being able to fly our drones for long periods of time. And obviously the people that do surveys and stuff like that, especially on power lines are always having to battle the idea of being able to fly long distances, but having the ability to recharge their drone. Mm -hmm. This particular drone doesn't have that problem because this particular drone connects to the power the line of this research to recharge, to the demonstrate drone. sustained uninterrupted drone operations by autonomously recharging the drone from overhead power lines. Oh my God. The drone system is equipped with an onboard perception and autonomy component, which detects overhead power lines and navigates the drone towards them. What the hell? The cover oh. on top of the drone allows it to grasp a power line and recharge its batteries. While recharging, the drone emits a characteristic sound from its gripper and energy harvester. Oh my God. The drone remained fully autonomous for the duration of the test and also demonstrated a recovery from an aborted landing. As future iterations of this system become more lightweight and efficient, 
the ratio between time spent flying and time spent recharging will significantly increase. In the future, self-recharging drone systems could enable long-distance fully autonomous inspection or delivery services with minimal human intervention required. Wow. So, a couple questions. Yeah. One, how does it keep from becoming a, f a fireball? And two, <laughs> um, how does the electric company... I guess they won't miss the power or do you, yeah. do you get charged yeah. or, I mean, there's just so much power from one of those main lines that like, who cares? Have at it, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's probably, you know, the ambient power that comes through the lines that it, that it picks up obviously because it's a drone, it doesn't have require a, a massive amount of, of power to, to recharge it. What's simply amazing to me is that it's an autonomous drone. It is doing all of that by itself. There's yeah. no person flying that or controlling it. It's automatically figuring right. out where the wire is, if connecting I was, to it, and then reconnecting, et cetera. If I was driving along and I saw that, I'd think somebody got their drone stuck on the <laughs> yeah. on the line. You know, like, oh, better but get... But it's, yeah. it, it's the perfect way of being able to fly your drone long distances and being able to keep it charged. So yeah. I, I'm impressed. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, next in the news... Uh, out of um what is this this Mi was minnesota minnesota yeah yeah minnesota uh their sheriff's office uses a drone to help a person experiencing a mental health crisis the quicker you can get the drone on scene the more likely you're going to be able to have a successful outcome from swat standoffs to suspect pursuits the chisago county drone unit has seen almost everything but earlier this week dispatchers received a call from someone concerned about their loved one at interstate state park they were in a mental health crisis and believed that um, they were thinking about killing themselves. A deputy launched the drone and used thermal imaging to track this person in the park before it was too late. And he eventually was able to find a person that was along the rock ledge, kind of walking, pacing back and forth, walked away from the ledge, walked up to the ledge, and that's what drew his attention to that person to say, I think this is who we're looking for. Eventually, deputies made contact with the person and were able to bring them to paramedics for help. Stay calm, reassure the person, let them know that you're listening. Jody Freiholtz London is executive director of Wellness in the Woods, helping people overcome mental health challenges. She says the person who called 911 should be commended for seeing the signs and taking them seriously. Individuals who are making that decision are doing it not thinking that there's any hope. And if we can give some hope to people and really show them that, that there are people who care, I think you can never make the wrong choice if you ask for extra help. You can make a deadly choice if you don't ask for help. Absolutely. What a great story. Yeah, that one was, uh, that one was a good find. Yeah. All right. Uh, so not so good of a find. Uh, there was a incident that occurred uh, between uh, an, an, a United States aircraft F-16 fighter jet and a drone on January 19, 2023, when uh, an F-16 fighter jet struck a drone within airspace that's banned for unauthorized aircraft. Uh-oh. The incident was one of 22 sightings of UAVs in the Barry M. Goldwater Range in southwest Arizona between October, 22, uh, October 2022 and June of 2023. And in this particular case, more details have been shared uh, when they actually got a chance to talk to the pilot. He was part of a four-ship formation of F-16s, and in the he was in the front seat of the wingman aircraft, and he actually saw the drone uh, hit the, the, the leading edge of the wing and obliterate. Uh, when they landed the aircraft, uh, they went to do a battle damage check and found that there was no damage to the aircraft in any way. Good. Um, so subsequent inspections proved that the airplanes uh, could go immediately back to uh, service. They, I don't think they ever found the person that was flying the drone. Um, but the problem was that this drone was flying at exceptionally high altitudes, yeah. um, especially for them to, to connect with, with aircraft that were essentially transitioning. So this was about 1,745 feet. Oh. So... Yeah, this, this was way above 400, 400 is the minimum. Uh, but in any case, uh, he said that he originally thought it was a little white bird that had hit the plane and uh, turned out it was a drone. 
but it didn't hurt the gazillion dollar plane at all. Didn't hurt the gazillion dollar plane. That's good. That's good. All right. <laughs> Next in the news, we have uh, what I thought was truly, I think, one of the most unique things I'd seen in quite some while. This is a deformable ring drone that morphs into a rolling wheel to boost runtime. Uh, okay. It, okay. This is an experimental drone that can fly in the air as needed, but then it can mor morph itself into a motorized wheel that oh. can roll on the ground to save energy. Okay. And they want to use this uh, in applications such as searching disaster sites for victims trapped in rubble. Um, this is designed by uh, robotics masters, students at the Kazuki Sugihara and wow. colleagues at the University of Tokyo. That's, that's wheel innovative. Yeah, the drone is known as DELTA, which is an acronym for Deformable Multi-Link Multi-Rotor multi with Rolling Locomotion Ability in Terrestrial Domain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, DELTA will work. Rolling Flying Robot. Nice. Rolling Flying Robot. Yeah. There you go. That's crazy. All right, so, uh, yeah, this is the one that uh, I think is going to get Ken's uh, nerves up. A Utah couple recently noticed a drone flying near their window. Well, he said this isn't the first time. Mm. Mm. We just saw the view. It's like, this is it. Even those scenic vistas are synonymous with Suncrest. It wasn't about the view. It didn't explain what appeared just outside their windows. The center window and at about, I don't know, 10 o'clock high. It was 9 o'clock at night and the daylight had gone away. It was a drone hovering maybe 25 feet away from the window, just hovering. They weren't just goofing around. The Jostens say they watched as the drone hovered and watched them for as long as two minutes. The green lights are in the front, and they were just, green lights were pointing at our window. And then just like that, the drone moved to another set of windows next door. And then moved down to the next house. That's when he called the police. Draper police came out and investigated but couldn't find the operator. It's definitely a little creepy. Lieutenant Mike Elkin says something similar happened recently at a hotel in town. With a drone flying uh, from window to window. While investigators haven't made any connections, they say the behavior is simply unacceptable. That's a massive violation of people's privacy, um, and it's actually against the law. It, it falls under the Utah State Trespassing Code. I honestly thought it was a peeping Tom. And the other thought is, you know, it could be somebody who's checking out houses for potential burgl burglary sites. A couple says whatever reason was a bad reason. It's really not okay to be looking into people's windows. And what they witnessed left the wrong impression. Watching him go from house to house, that, that was, to me, uh, disturbing. Okay, we, we don't know how close the drone was. We don't know what kind of drone it was, if it was equipped with RID. Um, but <sighs> they, they said... Whatever it was, it was doing bad things. That could very well be, but anytime a drone is facing someone, they're going to think someone bad. I, something's bad. I, I don't know. I'm a little dubious about this story. Jeff, your thoughts. Jeff, you're muted. I will say that the idea that this thing was flying from window to window, going from house to house, is that's a bad. Concern. That's bad. If it okay. was, if that's it was, because we know. From, from reports on this channel that there have been people arrested using drones that were casing houses. Yes. You know, so I, I'm not going to put it past the fact that that was a potential, you know, and they mentioned that. But, you know, the simple fact that they sat and watched the drone for minutes and then watched it go down to the next house and do the exact same thing that it had just done at their house, um, it's, you know, that, that to me is a concern. Um, flying around somebody's neighborhood, you know, flying above houses and, and doing orbits and stuff like that at, at altitude, that's one thing. Flying up to somebody's house, it's not your house or somebody that you know, and pointing the drone into a window? Uh, we don't know it was in the window. That's just what they're saying. Well, we don't know how close it was. The house and facing a window, and right. pointing at the window. You well, know? it could have been just filming the house. That's what I'm saying. It could have been far enough away to get the whole house in. If it was up in the window, I doubt it was in the window. That's what I'm saying. But everybody's who's not, all of us in the drone community, we give the benefit of the doubt. Like, that's why I'm saying this. It could have been some real estate agent filming a comparable house for a, 
another house that was for sale. Could, could have been anything like that. But, you okay. know, this, uh, this clearly an older couple, <laughs> nothing better to do. It's got to be peeping. It's got to be peeping because we saw those people. Those are the kind of people you want to peep on, obviously. <laughs> well, hopefully they will be able to catch, it if, catch them if it happens again. Then yes. they can find out. And I don't know why the police uh, weren't using the Karen app to, to locate the, the pilot. No idea. I, uh, maybe we need to send them a copy to Karen app. We'll do that. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So in final, uh, <laughs> this one <laughs> I absolutely love. So during the uh, Estoril Open semifinals in tennis, a guy named Casper Rudd, uh, who's one of the, the, the tennis stars that was there, uh, had a disruptive drone that was flying over his head. <laughs> He's trying to shoot it got, down. He got frustrated with it yeah. and decided to just start hitting tennis balls at it to have a chance to see whether or not he could just knock it out of the sky. And unfortunately, he, he didn't missed. hit it, which yeah. we would have loved to have seen the, the it hit. But the simple fact that the crowd is cheering. I mean, you know? <laughs> that's, I mean, that right there, trying to shoot a drone down with a tennis ball, is much more interesting than the game of tennis. Yes. Yes. Right. So keep doing it, dude. Keep doing it. Is it does he do it a third time? No, I don't believe he does it a third time, but the uh the I would love the fact that yeah. To to have seen the drone drop into into frame from the sky, you know, cuz that That would be hilarious. You yeah. can't fly over. <laughs> There's where was, where did that happen? This was at the Astoral Open semifinals. Uh, I think this is I'm trying to see if I can find out what country that's in. Okay, because if it was in the United States, I mean, most no, countries, this that's, would not that's be, legal. Yeah, this is not in the United States. It's illegal, yeah. Uh, but the, the simple fact that, that he did it, um, you know, I, I really wish he'd hit it. <laughs> mm, <laughs> that's yeah. one of the few times in my life that I wish that he'd hit it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the crowd cheering, I think, was what did it for me. Every single time he launched that thing in the air, everybody's like, yeah! Well, so, that's because finally something other than tennis is happening. Oh, don't even start. <laughs> tennis. Anyway. All right, Jeff. Well, thank you very much for the wonderful news. You're most welcome, sir. Um, all right. Thanks for stopping by. Now get out. All right. And now... Oh, jeez. It's just you and I, Michael. And now yes, we Lord. we get one of those fantastic supercar jokes that you said you had. Oh, we're doing that right now. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, I I sat in one of these cars a little bit earlier, uh-huh, and I couldn't work out how to fasten my seatbelt. Right. But then it clicked. <laughs> No, I like I told it. You I like it. Good. No, I like I told it. You not good. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, with that, we have a few more people that have just joined. If you're wondering about the title, yes, we are giving away a supercar ride, a ride in a supercar on a on a track. Your choice from Extreme Experience. And this is uh, Michael Ingram, my guest slash co-host for the night. And right now, let's qualify someone else. <laughs> Pick me, pick it's me. It's also not a ride. It's a drive. It's a drive. That's right. You drive it. <laughs> You're driving it. That's right. Pick me, pick me. I'm like me. 30 seconds behind, so on my stream, so. Oh, you are? Yeah, it's pretty It's it's pretty backed up, but we're Well, good. I, ga I, I gave you the, pick, the... I see the pick me's coming in. Yeah, okay, good. There is a little bit of pick, a lag. Pick me. So pick me, pick me. Michael will pick another qualifier. This will be the third qualifier out of about seven... Uh, that we'll Make do sure you are 18 and have a driver's license, please. That's right. And at, at the end of the stream, we will pick a winner to actually get to drive the supercar of your choice. There are many locations right. available across the country. The United States. Sorry, Europeans. You guys Rolling ever... Rolling in... Did you, did, you, did you pick someone? I just did. All right. All right. So he's going to write them down on a little piece of paper, and he's going to put it... In the tire. We have picks number three. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right. All right. So um, let me go ahead and uh, and uh, we're, we're going to share some outtakes from my visit. But oh, first, please. but first, I want to thank everybody. Is that a super chat train? I believe it is. Let me thank some people right now who uh, 
are supporting the show. Thank you so much. All of the Robs. All of the Robs, as usual. Thank you very much, Rob Muller, with uh, six euros. Have a great show, guys. Lots of love from Harlem. Thank you very much. And uh, Drone Rob with 20 bucks. So much fun, he says. Drone Rob again, my buddy from uh, Pittsburgh, who uh, actually made this experience possible for me. And uh, One Vision Ariel has become a new member. We've got five new members. I try to get at least 10 each night. You can gift membership. You can gift a membership. Just click on the three little dots in the become a member link in the description and you can gift the memberships and then YouTube will dole those out to uh, deserving people. So thank you very much for becoming a member of the Heron Birds. El Smeghead, he stopped in earlier. Can't watch live tonight at work early tomorrow. Uh, but he did. Uh, uh, oh, thank you very much for the five. Fiver. Appreciate it. Five pounds. Uh, Avada 2 worth $1,000 for a couple of tricks. $20 toy can do. Nope. Didn't think so. Well, it can do a lot more than that. It can do a lot more than that. I'm actually very excited to, to check it out. Uh, Keith. D&D Aerial Views, been a member for 41 months. Next time I'm driving, he says. Keith was there with us as well. And my friend uh, Chris. Lambo drives his Ambo. Now, I do hope that you are trying to win this drive. Lambo drives his Ambo. Uh, I did oh, drive, a, a I drive a Zambo. I drove a Zamboni as well. Years, years <laughs> gone by. Uh, thank you. He says, I love me some pigeon on a cool mountain night. Arco Drone Solutions, thank you very much. Art, taking the Air 2 to the Philippines next month. Okay. You gonna grab you one of those wives? They got plenty of wives there. Art, if you wanna grab one. <laughs> it's the, the Philippines is the Costco of wives. <laughs> the drone dad. I'm teasing because I have a friend who uh, recently got married in the Philippines. Uh, got oh, my nice. got my pigeon jerky and I'm ready for a great show. Thank you, the drone dad, and uh, Uncle Bill's toys. Thank you, Uncle Bill toys. I forgot I was a member. I should monitor my bills. <laughs> well, you know, being a member to my channel is tax deductible. You know, you can write that off. Oh. At the, yes, you can write that off at the I'm end of the to, year. I'm gonna have to get on that. Yeah. Well, if you use my accountant, you can write anything off. Oh. Uh, Canadian ten bucks <laughs> from Bronson 006. Fly me some beer, Ken. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Lol. Oh, yeah. Get my phone plugged in here. All right. Michael's just, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something. Get my phone plugged in. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, sure it doesn't die. All right. Two bucks from Ken Torbeck. Ken Torbeck always uh, at the end of the show hanging out. Uh, if you want to hang out, you can do that, too, in the Discord. If, if somebody will put my Discord link in the description that would be fantastic uh michael would you have time to hang out in discord after uh i would have to download it but yes i can okay I'll i don't want to put right you now. on the spot or anything but you're invited of course no. okay i would love to join uh ken says did my check clear to win the prize today yes i'm i'm not accepting uh, bribes <laughs> i'm sorry ken uh the drone dad did <laughs> gift a membership we're up to seven new members right now and you're going to want to see you're going to want to see the membership video that we just recorded before the show because uh, Michael takes us on a detailed tour of the warehouse Details. there. Yes. How many millions of dollars worth of cars are in there with you wow. right now? Do you estimate? You know, I knew, I knew you were going to ask and I yeah. forgot to calculate it. I would, this, like I said, this is about half our fleet. I would say there's estimated four million maybe. <sighs> There's got to be more. I mean, than the, that. The, this two, this two nine six that's right here is five hundred thousand dollars alone. We have two of those. Oh that's my a god! <laughs> now, the cat that's in there. Uh, the yes. cat doesn't walk on the cars, right? Are you sure? No, he he goes when we leave. He goes in the other room. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> he's got a, he's got another room. Okay. He was out here just because I'm here. I don't know where he is right now. So thank we'll you, Drone him. Dad, for gifting membership. Kong is out there. Hey, Kong. Kong FPV, and of course. Hello. Uh, he, he sent uh, $4.20. I don't know. I have no idea why he does that specific amount. Do you have any clue, Michael? I can't imagine. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, he gifted five <laughs> memberships 
and super chat. Ooh, very nice. He says, you expensive. Yeah, but you know I'm worth it. <laughs> I'm worth it, baby. <laughs> In the Woods is a new member. Welcome to the Heronburg. In the Woods. Uh, St. Kenny with two bucks. And Best Buy bought me a, a drone, too, he says, St. Kenny. And uh, Johnny DRC. Now, you can continue to uh, super chat throughout the night, and I will mention them. I appreciate all the support. I really do need it because driving to these various locations to bring you cool stuff like me uh, in Chattanooga filming with the police and hanging out with supercars in Nashville, it does it does cost a little bit of money. So I do appreciate that. All the, all the Super Chats go back into making the channel better for you. Uh, Cliff Coombs, Cliff Hanger Photo with a $3.33. Thank you very much. Can we grab one of those to finish the Route 66 trip? Yes. Can I borrow one of those cars, Michael? To drive cross country, oh, sure. you, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, mind. We okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. He'll make that happen. <laughs> we'll and, make it happen. We'll yeah. make it happen. And uh, Zeb Me, nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. And he's got the uh, the golden heron bird there, and uh, that means that he's been a member for over a year. A couple of dollars for Michael's insurance. Yes. Yes. So thank now <laughs> I do want to talk a little bit about my visit, and I want to thank you, Michael, for of course trusting me. Now you knew me from my channel yes and yes i've been watching ken's channel for oh man seven i started flying probably about eight eight years ago and yeah. i think his was one of the first channels i came across yeah well i appreciate that um but and you vouched for me for the company that's a it's a big company and and you to took fly a, the drone yeah to fly to fly my <laughs> fpv drone yes that and is correct. and i really do appreciate that because and i could mm -hmm. tell the first few packs I flew there that your fellow employees were watching me very closely to see if yes. I could fly and control it and not mm -hmm. get crazy because there were a lot of rules. Um, I couldn't fly in certain areas, not directly over the cars. So I couldn't mm -hmm. chase the cars like they're on a drift track and I had to stay in the infield and then only cross the racetrack when there were no cars there and you guys were letting me know what to do. So uh, there were a, exactly, lot, yeah. a, a lot of rules, and I tried to follow all of them. I think I did a good job. You did a fantastic job. So you guys might trust me to come back again, maybe one day. Yeah, well, actually, we'll, we'll try to do some chasing next time. Um, I mean, okay. the big thing is, you know, if we have customers out on track, yes, um, yes. you know, we can't, you know, have a ESC fail, for example. Right. Drone falls onto the track and the car hits it. You know, a lot of bad things could happen. Anything Because we happen. actually flew in the morning when the uh, instructors were out driving the cars. Yes, and I did have a million dollars uh, worth of liability for the time yes, that I was didn't. at the track. <laughs> yes, our team did need to see some insurance, and that's understandable. Yep, yep, yep. That would only cover a couple cars. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> How many cars can I take out with one little drone? <laughs> Let's see. Challenge accepted. Um, so, all right, I have a little bit of um, behind-the-scenes FPV stuff, and um, you and I, can we, can we can discuss as we watch this. Formatting car. Ooh, that lag's gonna be. I might have to watch in the back of my phone. <laughs> All right, where do you want me to stand? Right here. Yeah, right here, good. Right here, where I am. Michael, hold on, Michael. Yes. Uh, you're not watching yes. the stream, are you? Don't watch the stream. You're just watching on the on on Skype. <laughs> There's zero lag on Skype. Well, yes. Well, I have to go to the back of my phone back here. To, oh, it's, it's Skype I on my see. Phone. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Using yeah. Using phone as my camera. It's going gonna, it's gonna <laughs> to pile up. It's going to pile up. So you ready to, you ready to watch this? I am. Let's go. Okay. All right. There we go. Formatting card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where do you want me to stand? Right here? Yeah, it's right here. Good. Right here where I am? Yes, sir. Okay. They told me where to stand. And this is my very first flight. And I head right towards Celebrity. <laughs> Once they Ooh, get that's good footage. Or am I filming from here when they go, or are we moving? Um, you'll have to be over the grass. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I didn't want to do anything without asking permission. Oh, I see. So over here. Yeah, so we can't be like flying over the actual track surface. I understand. Yeah. yeah. So you. Yes, yeah, so we were not using that embankment on that far side. We're using that kind of All infield right. straightaway. Right. Which way will they be? Uh, coming from your right. They're coming from my right. I got gotcha. you. Like physical right. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I had not filmed cars going this fast on a track before, so I did not know how fast my poor little 
FPV batteries would drain, giving it the beans trying to keep up with them. Yeah, by the end of the straight, I think we're doing, they're doing about 135. Yeah. I think the faster cars, yeah. But it's still, and, and I didn't want to get too close. I mean, I wanted to get closer, you know, but yeah, this battery, I wanted to be respectful. I have some dud batteries in my phone. <laughs> Uh, just some, I mean, this, the sound and the smells, it's just a great place to be if you're a car guy. It's exhilarating. Even, it's when you're, even when you're not driving the car and other people are driving, it's oh just, there's just a whole atmosphere of just car, 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 you know. And then this is when everybody was watching to see if I could land without landing on the car. Excellent. So I did that. They were starting to trust me a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, once they, once they saw that you, you knew what you were doing. Yeah. You know, and the, and the more you come out, you know, we do this, this more often. You know, Absolutely, yes. Do I was, some more extreme things. I was so nervous, though, you know, because I didn't want to... Yeah, the first thing Ken okay. told me when we talked, when I called him on the phone, is he's like, you know, I know I'm going to be flying around, you know, $200,000 cars. He's like, yeah. I'll be very careful. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, you I said... Okay. They said I could go dive this tower really quick. Oh, this I've been wanting to see this. Yeah, this is just all part of uh, B-roll that I was getting. I don't know if I even used this shot, but it was fun to do. Uh, you, I don't think you did. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm coming awesome. in. Fly down towards pit and down there where I have the orange cones in there. They're getting ready to come in as a slow parade lap. There's Keith. Oh, okay. I want to get closer to them, you know, but. I just keep thinking about $10,000 paint jobs and, you know. <laughs> so then we move to a different location in this little curved part where the cars would be going a little bit slower so that I could try it to keep up. Cars are headed to you now. Yeah. Roger, thank you. Yep, they're biased. Yeah, how fast is your drone? Or how fast does it go, do you know? I mean, it can, it's a sprinter, you know? It's like a cheetah, it can do a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, it's not sustainable speed. And see how close I was like, Argh. I was trying to, you know, track his lava. I don't want to fly over the lava, you know. This is all just B-roll stuff that I was using in, for the video. And here. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> I wish I could get over the track. I know. Because then I could get right on their bumper. But no. No. <laughs> he kept trying to push me. Are you sure? <laughs> Sorry. What if I do it by accident? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it's so tempting. I know all the people watching this are like, oh, I could get closer to the cars than that. No, you can't. Unfortunately, due to insurance reasons. Freaking insurance. I know. It's and believe it or not, this has remote ID on it. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm yeah. following all the rules. I was following all the rules, man. Yeah. But I That's think... Great. Um, Those were awesome shots. Well, thanks. I, You know, hopefully as you guys uh, trust me more, that I can get closer and, you know... Because those... The, you've seen the drift cars, right? Where They're going slow enough where... Oh, yeah. Uh, Five-inch 6S can keep up. And it's right... It's like bumper, you know. But I... Even, even if you said... Even if you said, do what you want. We trust you. I still... The, the little common sense of me, I wouldn't, I just, the last thing I want to do is put a little nick mark in one of those damn super duper cars, yeah, that, you know. They, yeah, they, they are all PPF, but that would still probably dent them. Yeah. I mean, it, it would be a little nerve wracking. I think if we had more time maybe to prepare, because Ken did call me, what, two days? Before, right. Yeah, it was kind three, of a surprise. Three, three days before the event. <laughs> yeah. But uh, usually what we could do is, like, around lunchtime, once we're down, we could probably, next time we do this, we could actually get, like, one or two cars out by themselves with the instructors driving, and then we may actually be able to do something. Because yeah. that morning session, all the instructors, they were out, and they have to warm the cars up, make sure the tires are good to go, make sure the brakes kind of do a shakedown on all the cars, so they have to go at speed. Right. We can't really, like, slow down to get specific shots, where normally on lunchtime... Um, there's no customers out on the track and mm -hmm. we could actually, you know, take 30 minutes to actually coordinate and, uh, we'll right. The cars, the, like the weather the has to cooperate. The cars have to, the driver has to cooperate. I have to trust my equipment. Uh, and then, you know, there's, there's a whole common sense component. You, you risk it for the biscuit, but. Yeah. Man, and I, I mean, if you think too, like with drift, you know, at drift events, you know, those cars 
they hit walls. Those cars like are nothing. fine. So yeah. if, a, if a drone taps it, it's yeah. probably Oopsie. not a, you know a huge deal to Whatever. them. Whereas that'll buff out. Yeah, can't really can't really do that with these. No, no, no. <laughs> we uh, try to keep these in the best condition we can, but uh. So um, I, we're we want to do that. Though, we're about to qualify someone else here in just a little bit. Uh, remind people what we're doing. We are giving away extreme experience mm -hmm. to someone. Uh, during this stream, at the end of the stream, we will make a drawing of yes. all the qualifiers. That is correct. So we are giving one of you that are right here in the stream watching the chance to come out and drive one of these supercars uh, for free at any racetrack that you want that we visit around the country. So yeah. we should be by a location that is near you. Just please be 18 years and old or older with a driver's license, and that's all you need to qualify. Right. And, you know, there's a lot more to it than just driving the car. There's a little class that you take that yeah. you mm -hmm. can use that little like half hour of information. You can use that. If you, you can take that out on the interstate with you, there's a lot of really handy dandy stuff that you yeah, learn. So in there. That's, that's a, yeah, it's a really cool thing that happens. So we do do a, about a 20, 25 minute classroom session. Every single person goes through that. They teach you everything that you need to know about driving on a racetrack, how that differs from driving on the street. Um, all of our instructors, they are all licensed racing instructors some of them have done open wheel racing imsa racing um you know wheel to wheel stuff like that so these are all very knowledgeable people that are sitting in the seat with you and you're going to learn a lot when you when you go here i mean we have people come that have never driven a car like this before they may have not really gone over 80 on the freeway mm -hmm. and then they're coming to an event and they're hopping in the seat of a lamborghini and doing 130 140 miles an hour yeah uh, down a street so it's pretty incredible and then you have people that you know do sim racing all the time and they come in and they're like, Oh yeah, I'm going to get this. And you know, they might do pretty well. Right. But um, there's, you know, if, if, as far as creating memories, one, if you've never driven a supercar, that's that you can check that off your list Two, If you've yes. never driven on a track of any kind, you can check that off. Your yes. List. And three, maybe you get, you get to meet Michael. Now that you might, that's the trifecta. Yes, I do. We do. <laughs> yeah, we do. I do go to as many events as I can. Yeah. Um, but as far as the tracks, that is a very good point, Ken, because before I started here at Extreme, I've maybe only been to a handful of racetracks around the country. I do some racing myself. I have a whole VR setup, steering wheel, shifter, you know, pedals, all that kind of stuff. So I've done a lot of sim racing over the years, and it's crazy when I know I'm about to go to a racetrack, I will actually race it in the sim before I go to the event. So I actually, you know... and once you get there, it's kind of surreal. Um, like circuit of the Americas, which we're going to be going to this year. Mm. Um, I am so excited to hopefully drive on that track if possible, because that is just such an iconic racetrack, Miami speedway. I got to drive Sonoma raceway. I got to drive, which is in the Gran Turismo four, for example. So all these racetracks, you know, the only one I can't do is, uh, the Nordschleife in, uh, in Germany. The Nurburgring. Oh man! Obviously. Oh my gosh! That, that's my dream. Don't that's even say that. I, I, I want to do. I want to go. Let's go together. Let's do it. Dude, um, let's do it. Let's I'm, do it. I'm so down. Some people I'm are. So they're saying pick. We're not doing pick me right now. How many qualifiers do we have? We have three, right? So we have. Let me let me check our tire. I believe we have three. Yes. Yes. All right. We have one, two, three. One, two, three uh, in the tire. Okay. So we're gonna qualify here in just right after we share okay. this next video, and I do have some viewer videos that are pretty amazing to share as well but one one Ooh, of the most fun things wait. for me last saturday was getting the opportunity to and you made this happen for me to film a little opening sequence for my oh, video oh, yes and uh, i'll share <laughs> here's what the opening sequence uh, if you haven't seen it, it's the last video on my channel uh, here's what the opening sequence looks like <laughs> Uh, sir, I'm going to need to see your FAA Part 107 certificate. But what for? Because, sir, you were flying down this road. Okay, so just that little, that little bit. I don't know how many seconds that was. Uh, if, you, if you don't make About YouTube 15. videos, you don't know how much effort goes into these things, especially when you have to coordinate with very expensive cars and stuff. And thank you, Michael, for, for making that happen, because I had that idea. I was like, hey, that would be pretty cool if I could get the the drone patrol out on the track and you, you made it yeah. happen. So, and, and thank yeah. you for any of your compadres, your, the company, 
uh, watching, for trusting me to do all that. I really do appreciate that. So I have some opening sequence outtakes. This is some of what it took to make that happen. Um, this, I, I got I to go behind my phone and watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on up here and check this out. So this is some uh, of the opening sequence uh, outtakes. Enjoy this. We're going out onto the track with the Popo car. <laughs> what do you think? How's this handling? This is, uh... Huh? It's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh. It looks cool. It does look cool, and that's all that really matters. <laughs> it is. <laughs> right, Rob? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm more nervous driving your car than I am our Ferrari. Oh, <laughs> no, man. Have at it. Oh, is that a Ferrari up there? I believe it is. It sure is. Why yeah. is, why is there a Ferrari up there? Because we could do whatever we want with it. <laughs> what? No, not necessarily. Oh. Almost. A little bit more. <laughs> right there. I'm directing the Ferrari. <laughs> yes. If you can, <laughs> yeah. if you can stop right there. Come in hot. <laughs> <laughs> One more for safety. <laughs> I wanted to get the car rocking, but the suspension is so Excellent. good. Excellent, I got you a little know. bit of that rock. This will be like a yeah. jib shot. This is going to be so stupid. <laughs> this, this took like, how long did this take us to film? Maybe It, it took a half minutes. hour. Yeah. Yeah, about for can like you, 15 seconds. Can we can shut you the do place it down? One more walk time, through. but <laughs> as you stop, open the door quickly. So that's you driving the car. Part of the Hollywood yeah. magic. Perfect. I couldn't drive on Perfect. the track. While the door is opening, come down here like this. Get my feet, and then I will shut the door, and I will walk towards the camera, OK? And then as I start to talk to them, you'll oh, come this. in. Then I'll be like, then yeah, because we here. definitely want to show the, the car, gotcha. all right? And, and I'm going to say, I'm going to need to see your FA Part 107 you gotta certificate. You're going to have to get closer down, though, just so you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> I was so upset. Okay. Right. And then I thought I got it. So like I got this. <laughs> nice car. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to see your. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Uptakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. This is you driving, Michael. <laughs> Michael, he said you were driving like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of late. I know. I'm not going to punch it, but I'll pull it over. I'm going to have to do some. Okay, okay. okay. Your, your co worker came. He oh. knew. He saw what we were doing. And you're, you're like, you know, I'm just driving to the grocery store. And so he comes up. I'm driving like a pussy. Let me show you how to do it. So I specifically told them we weren't going to be driving the cars. Oh. So that's why I was already a little nervous. Oh. <laughs> Okay. But I pulled away, you know, slowly, and then uh, he came up, and he's like, he's like, no, let me. Help. He's in, he was the actual safety instructor, right, for the entire event, so he could do what he wants. Yes. <laughs> so if he wanted to punch it, I'll let him do it. Well, I me. appreciate that. The, and and we had a little bit of an audience. There's people doing, yes. you know, TikTok and Instagram. What's going on here? There's a drone flying very close to this very half million dollar car. Yes, uh, yes, yes. So that was fun. And for the people that saw it when his little keychain hit, like I said earlier, the cars are PPF. <laughs> So oh, my heart it was okay my heart i know i it was kind of funny to watch i could just i saw it like i think you turned white a little bit actually <laughs> yeah as white as my hair he just hair. looked at me he's like um he's like no you didn't see that did you that'll buff out <laughs> anyway all right well let's do it uh, right now let's do it let's get another qualifier to to drive one of these cars pick, pick me, me pick me in the chat pick do me. it pick me pick me Michael's going to pick someone, and then we're going to let the cat pick a winner at the end of the show. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll put a piece of sticky tape on the cat's paws, and whichever person he walks on sticks to will win. No. We're going to roll that tire. All right. So did you pick, um, last time, did you pick someone who was a member? Um, I picked two members and one who was not. All right, so let's so pick far. another... Let's pick another non-member right now and encourage people to become members. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we All won't right, we won't shame you. We're good not... amount in here. Scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Put my finger on the screen. <laughs> and we're not going to mention and it's who... A non... Oh, that was not a pick-me one. Oops. Okay. We're not going to mention the name of the person, 
until the oh, end yes, to encourage everybody to hang out. And you must be present to win. If you're not here at the end when we draw the name, then we'll draw another All name. All right. All right, I got one picked here. All right. Let me write this down. He's going to write it down. We're about to play some viewer videos. We've got some cool viewer videos momentarily. Awesome. All right. Man, I like your setup there. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. What a fun stream. Let me uh, thank uh, Uncle Bill's Toys for the 10 bucks. Thank you, Uncle Bill's Toys. Appreciate that. Little something for saying my name. Gave me goosebumps. Oh, well. Uncle Bill's Toys. Uncle Bill's Toys. Mm. Uncle Bill's Toys. If you want goosebumps, you want to drive one of those cars. <laughs> That's what you want. I'll say your name all day, Uncle Bill's Toys. <laughs> Do you know what music that is? No, but I also haven't seen it on the stream yet, so I don't know what just that, happened. Oh, okay. That that is that is actually Fabio. You know Fabio, I can't believe it's not Butter yes. Guy. That yes. is from his album. Fabio put out an album in the nineties and this is hmm. that's from I've never gotten a copyright strike from that. Wonder why. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's probably not in the algorithm. No, so. it it isn't. Uh, Bronson 006 with a Canadian five bucks. Uh, he's asking, uh, do you guys have a Shelby GT 500 carbon fiber, uh, track pack car? So that we used to not, not the track pack specifically. We did have the GT 500s, uh, but that is one of the cars that left our fleet last year. Okay. Um, because we had issues with the superchargers that kept going out. So, okay. Do you guys sell the cars when you're done with them or you just put them in the dumpster out back? That, yes, 100%. Yeah. Okay. We actually, yeah, we got two dumpsters right out there. Couple so. Okay. And, uh, okay, yeah. what days of the week do you put these in the dumpsters? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, well. I, 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 I don't. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's um, we'll move on. No. St. Kenny, thanks for the five bucks. I appreciate that. Is Ken Heron buying an Avada too? Yes, I bought mine earlier today, and I'm going to go pick it up Saturday. I hope a good person wins the car ride. Too many good people to choose from. That is absolutely true. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of people in here. So do we want to fly? Because Michael has the Avada 2 right there. Do we want to bust that out and fly it? Or do we want to see a viewer video? What do you, what do you guys think? Let me, let me know up there what you want to do. Um, thank try, you very I'm much. I'm trying to think how I'd even showcase that. Bronson006, thank you very much. And uh, Curtis Hayes is a new member. Welcome to the Heron Birds. We have eight new members now. Oh, my goodness. That is so nice. Um, and I, I rarely mention this, but you can also support the channel on Patreon. And, uh, if you want to, uh, send me gold bricks in the mail, you can send them here. Um, Ken Heron, box 1281. I haven't gotten anything in my mailbox, in my PO box in a while. People used to send me candy from other countries. Uh, but if you want to send me, Ooh, uh, you know, cool. gold bricks, uh, whatever, uh, 1281 Huntington, what? Tennessee, 38344. Yes, Michael. Will that Huracan fit in there that you drove in your P.O. box? Yes, it will. Yes, will it, it? Okay. The keys will. <laughs> the keys will. <laughs> so um, what are people saying? Do they want to? They want the video or do they want to see the thing fly? What are people? Fly about a fly? Yeah, we better fly it. Can you, can you start it up just so we can hear it? You don't have to fly over the gazillions yeah. of dollars worth of cars. But, so, uh, yeah, I will say just from hearing the videos of the Avada one, it is significantly. It doesn't have that high pitched like B, B sound. Oh, to it. thank goodness. So you think um, that that it's a tri blade that that is it? Or do we know if do you know if the, I, the KV of the motors is different? I don't. Let me see if it's uh, does it even say it on there. It does not. No, it's blank. That's fine. I'm not sure the KV. I think I might actually have to put the goggles on to get this to go. Yeah. So as far as remote ID, it does it automatically because of those are the, the goggles three. And yes. it's got all that built in, even inside right there, right? Like, even if you can't get a GPS signal, it knows somehow that you're indoors or whatever. Yeah. So if you're in, so those sensors that are on the back, which here, I'll get up close. Yeah. Yeah, the sensors that are on the back, um, I showed earlier in the stream if you guys weren't in here. I thought that these sensors 
that are down here on the bottom are going to be part of like obstacle avoidance, but it's actually not. It's for just vision positioning. Okay. Well, are I guess are while those, you're indoors. Are those heat sinks on the bottom? Uh, so I've heard people mention that this does get pretty warm. And mm -hmm. yes, those are, it looks like it's ah. all plastic. It's, it's like, you know, just that DJI oh. Oh, hard okay. plastic. All right. Huh. And where does the SD card go in? Cause the SD card on the other one was Ooh. paying the ass. I heard about that. Please, did fix please that tell us one. where this, it's, it's so more convenient. So I'm going to get behind so I can see here. Yeah, yeah. So now it is right underneath. Oh, thank the, baby Jesus. That's reason it's enough nice. right there to buy it. Wow. It actually kind of like it pops, it like pops open and holds itself, which is nice. Oh, so you got your so SD cool. and that's also your USB-C port. That's to great. Able, and you, you also can charge the battery just by plugging into here with the battery inserted, which is pretty nice. Oh, that is good. But if you do buy the fly more kit, you will get their kind of triple. Okay. Triple battery holder, which is pretty nice. Does it charge them in sequence or one at a time? I'm guessing one at a time. One at a, yeah. One at a time. Okay. Yeah. I was hoping that it was going to do them like, you know, multiples. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to move the camera here. Yeah. Okay. Ah, this is, this is, can I just say what a great, what a great moment this is <laughs> with, with all this super cool cars and, and new drones all at the same time. I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm overstimulated at this point. We, we need an obstacle. <laughs> oh, you, you go. are you going to fly through it? Of course. Oh, this is okay. How many feet away <laughs> from that half million dollar? Okay. All no, right. It, it's really, it's, it's honestly like that trustworthy. The, uh, so once again, I, I will agree and I will say this. I am not a huge fan of this motion controller, but I will give it the benefit of the doubt. It is extremely easy to use. All right. And it's very it's very intuitive. It's very good for if you're indoors and you need to keep very level. Yeah. But I don't have my controller. It doesn't come in until tomorrow. All right. Man, I can't wait so to hear to this. that separately. And the screen is beautiful on these goggles. I don't know. I can't see anything. And you can double tap. And then it goes to a vision. So you can, it, you're, now you I can, can actually see, see you guys. Hi. Hello. Hey. Yes. Hey. All right. All right. Going back. So can you see my hand right here? Yes. All right. So you have this orange button. All you're going to do is push that twice. Uh -huh. Motor start. Yeah. Now it says take off with caution, no GPS or vision. So we're going to okay. be very, very careful. Here. Very careful. And then you pre press and hold the button. It will take off. Oh, but I don't know if you could hear that. I can. It's not terribly it's, awful. Yes, it's it's very quiet. Look how steady so it is. Wow. Oh, I see myself now. Can you bring it uh, up I'm to not the going by the tune? Bring I'm it up to the, the camera. Tune, can you fly it close to your camera? All right. Yeah, it's so freaking steady, even inside. Now, are you seeing that little round that, dot? So that has to do with the. Yes. OK. I wish I could share the screen. Well, that's all right. So the ear, the earphones that I'm using, I'm using my AirPods. So it's I'm right next to it right now. So you can tell exactly. Yeah. Like, it's probably doing some well. noise canceling on your headphones. <laughs> it's got a lot of control. It's kind of nice. You just go up and down to move the camera. Will, can you do the flip button? Uh, not inside. I'm Don't sorry. do it. Don't like do it. Because <laughs> I haven't, when I haven't done it, well, I, yeah. well, I have, oh, I'm getting close. Where's the drink? There we go. Okay. Get away from me. Yeah. So I haven't done it, but they also say that you have to be at a certain height for it to actually do the flips. Oh, okay. But I, to me, that's a gimmick. I, I, I it is a gimmick. Stupid. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. So you're going to go through the, Ready. oh, look at that, man. Wow. So I, yeah. I mean, really controlling it with this is, D did oh, you, it just, it started going up by itself. It's got no, uh. All right, I'm landing it because it has no vision right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But did you just blow all our contestants out? No, I uh, removed them. Oh, you did? That's good thinking. Yes. <laughs> all right. So as soon, okay, so that was interesting. As soon as I got over here where it was dark, mm -hmm. it lost vision, gave me a warning sign, and then immediately started drifting. Oh, so it the... lost the vision position on the ground. Yeah, it needs light. So it wasn't able to hold itself. Yes, exactly. So okay. that was a little can you, are the, good. <laughs> the goggles still on? Can you hold the goggles up to the camera maybe so we can see? Yeah. Yeah, let's try it and see if it works. Yeah. 
I mean, you're you're a videographer and you do a lot of stuff with the with the cars and everything. Um, this yeah, is going to so be a actually, great will, tool for you. I, so yeah, I will mention this real quick. So a lot of people in here, I know your audience can. Everyone loves real. This this isn't real FPV. I mean, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. I have a five inch myself. I love flying actual five, you know, five inches. The thing is with this is I'm traveling to all these events all around the country. So being able to have something that all just fits in a bag. Uh -huh. And the big thing is the batteries too. I don't want to be taking four S and six S lipos with me on a plane. I don't want to have to bring a soldering station with me in case something happens right. um, when I'm traveling. So to me, this makes more sense. It's a little bit more ergonomical Yeah. when I'm here local at the racetracks that I could drive to a five inch will definitely be a better option, but that's kind of my reasoning behind buying this. But this is the first Avada where I think the camera is actually good enough to warrant it do you, um, and the power as well. When you edit, do you use uh, Gyroflow or do you use the onboard Rocksteady or whatever it is? So I have not used – is this even on? It is I, awesome. I actually think the original oh, Avada, with, with the, if you turn off the onboard stabilization and just use Gyroflow, it's a lot better. And you have yeah, a lot more I'm going options. To, um, I haven't – I know all about Gyroflow. I just haven't specifically used it myself yet because uh -huh. I really haven't had anything to use it with. Um, so I have to hold the sensor to get the, the oh, uh, right. screen okay. to turn that's, on. That's right. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're kind of getting it. Look at that. So you have your whole HUD Look under at there. That, yeah. The screen, it's, I don't know what the other goggles, what the size of the screen was. Here, I'm going to double tap it. And it'll, so you double tap the side. Oops, I'm losing it. This is hard. Sorry. Yeah, no, we're seeing it. We're seeing it. This is great. So you double tap and it'll transfer into, now this is what the goggles are seeing. Oh, that is wild. And you so, can still you see in the picture, corner. Picture, picture. Yeah. Yes. So if someone's walking up to you, you could double tap. It's huh. kind of cool seeing a CTSV and a 48 in your goggles, huh? It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, Double tap man. again. Yeah. But yeah. All right. I so, mean, so I, I also recently just purchased a Quest 3. Um, so obviously it's it's nothing like that where you're getting this huge field of view. But, you know, the quality, because I've always flown analog. I've All of my FPV, I've never flown digital. This is actually the first time I've ever firsthand witnessed a digital system. And it's incredible. Yeah. Like you'll, you'll be able to see power lines, little mini tree branches. That's what's really kind of cool about it to me yeah so this is um, the avada is my go-to for fly-throughs for businesses and things like yeah. that um mm -hmm. it's just it's just that, really reliable that way yeah that's what i'm going to use it for too is because i do do real estate uh videography as well so that's kind of why i bought this also is because i i would feel pretty safe with this uh -huh. you know flying through a house um yeah i don't know and i think they changed the mounting as well for the oh you're not going to be able to see that sorry it's not like the two screws. Can you see that? Oh, okay. right. Oh, I do see it. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I, someone said that that's different from the Avada 1. The Avada 1, they did it some other type of way. Yeah. So and, it does come with a little tool as well. And nothing is, backwards, yeah, nothing is backwards compatible. None of, the, none of the, the controllers or goggles work with the, right? So the, oh, I just watched a video today on it. Someone said the goggles can work. Can you do a ride along? The goggles can work with previous ones. Say it again. Can you, if you have the gog, if you have the new stuff, can you do ride alongs with the goggles too? You know what, what do you I mean? mean ride alongs. Oh, that's so. That's what I need to figure out because I want to buy a second pair to have so I can let other people experience it as well. Right, because the I other ones, know. the the original Avada, you can use. Uh, I get all the goggles names messed up. You can use the goggles too, and the 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 V two goggles as well. Yeah. I so gotta, you won't be able to use the V two goggles sure. with with this. Will yeah, you? that I'm not a hundred percent. I gotta do a little bit more research. Yeah, sons of bitches. Anyway, let's go ahead and make another qualifier. Oh, let's do oh, it. Let's. Oh. <laughs> he's doing the qualifier oh. dance. We, you need to get your tires. Get the qualifier tire back. There we go. Qualifier we need the tire is here. Qualifier tire. All right. Pick me. Pick me. Uh, ever... Wait. Oh, oh, I'm not. I'm not pointing it. I'm. That's. Which, okay. There we are. Up there. Do you want to? Do you want to be one of our other four? Oh, look at that! Here? Look at one of those people. 
How many people we got qualified now? We got four. This will be number five. All right. Let's make it a member. Let's let's pick a member. All right. We're picking a member. Pick and, me, pick me. And let's pick a non-member. Let's do both right now. Both flavors right now. Oh, we're doing two. Wide right. open for everybody. We're going to pick two. Uh, and I, I imagine the stream is probably going to be another 30 minutes. Maybe. Okay. So right, we're going to we're going to give this drive away to extreme experience. You can extreme. drive a supercar. Ooh, can I mention one thing real quick? Please. Yeah, yes, I you have a someone. sale going on, don't you? Ooh, how did you know I was going to say I, that? I, I read minds. <laughs> if you don't uh, happen to win tonight, we are doing 30 percent off as a spring sale right now for weekday bookings. Um, so that's usually Thursdays and Fridays. So if you choose an event near you and you don't mind driving during the week, 30% off is quite a quite a big chunk of change. Heck yeah. So take advantage of that. Yeah, it's a very good deal. All right. Very, very good deal. So, All right, so we pick got... a member and a non-member. All right, so I got a member. And a non-member. And while you're doing that, I'm going to play a video that was sent in from Caroline. Caroline RC. This is from the UK. And she says, hey, Ken, Blackpool on the Lancaster coast is a bit of a shithole. <laughs> she said, oh, my goodness. But it has a fun <laughs> seaside front, and its claim to fame is the Blackpool Tower. So here she is out there. I believe it, it was a, a, a drone meet they had in Blackpool. Now, I know what you're thinking, FPV people. I don't know what the rules are getting so close to, uh, well, okay, just get right in there. Oh, look at that. They had a big drone club sign on the ground. You could see only when you're flying. That's cool. What a great place for a drone meet. Wow. You ever been to the UK, Michael? I have for about four hours in a layover. Oh, where were you going? I was full. Um, Thank so you, I was Caroline. Getting deployed, so I was going to UAE. Okay, and what part of the service were you in? So I was in the Air Force for eight years. I was actually a aerospace propulsion engineer. So I worked on technician. Sorry, so I worked on the engines of the KC-135 Strata tanker. So you become more mechanic. impressive by the minute, sir. <laughs> And thank you for your service. Yes. Oh, I appreciate it. Wow. I actually did get stationed my last three years in Okinawa, Japan. And that's actually, that was 2015 and 2018. And that's the first time I ever picked up a camera. And that's when it all started. So 20, you know, 2015 is when I picked up a camera. I thought I was going to be working here at Ohio Airport for the rest of my life. And yeah. found the love of videography. And here I am surrounded by a bunch of supercars in a warehouse. What a, what a night by myself. What a great, strange <laughs> trip complain. it has been. I know, right? They, yeah, go ahead and do a live stream from our garage with millions of dollars of cars. Hey, go ahead and do that. What Sounds a, good. What I'm, a great company I'm you work done. for. Um, I love it. I love it. It's so, a fantastic company. I mean, all the people that work here, everyone loves, you know, everyone loves cars. Everyone has a passion for cars. That's why we do this. Yeah. And, you know, our, our big saying, which I, I've mentioned before, but it's like, you know, we believe that, you know, you don't have to be a millionaire to be able to experience these type of cars. You know, we right. want to make these vehicles accessible to everybody. And that's why we do what we do. And we're super happy to do it yeah my experience we love seeing oh god sorry my, i'm sorry my experience happened last week uh yeah. it'll be last week and saturday and uh i can still just kind of i remember every every single second of it it was it was it was great it was really great yeah. and I, um, I wish you guys could have seen ken's reaction when he got out of the car oh, it was amazing <laughs> it was actually if you if you look up drone rob's channel <laughs> he's got a he's got a video of me squeezing my it looks like the car is birthing me <laughs> you, you check oh, that when, out. You, when you were getting yeah when i was getting out because it's you know it's a tight the sounds, fit. The sounds you made yeah uh, you know <laughs> i mean i'm over 50 so you know when when us over 50 people when we drop something on the ground we're like uh ah, do i really need that i could buy another one but then when we finally realize now nah, i gotta pick it up we go ah. so that's kind of what i did when i got out of the car but um i did a Actually, one thing that I thought about, because it was just on my website, I was talking about the cars earlier. I forgot, too. We also have the Audi R8 and the GTR Nismo, which we had just added this year. 
Okay. So if you are a Nissan fan, that's a fantastic car. Excellent. And yes, um, we're not doing pick me, pick me uh, uh, ju just yet. How many qualifiers do we have now? We should have six, five? Five, I'm, I think five. Okay, five, good. All Let's right. see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six. Six. So I think one more. Excellent. All right. So we're going we're gonna to give away that drive at the end of the stream. Uh, Michael, that what is going to be any car of your choosing. Where were you during the eclipse? What did you do for the eclipse? Oh, where was I? I was at home. Okay. But you did you put on glasses <laughs> I, and see it and everything? I did, yeah. So I was, because I was obviously with Ken in Nashville, and I had to drive back up through Indiana, which was going to be right there in the um, center of totality. And I wanted to stay. I, I was driving home, though, so it was, a, I think, about an eight-and-a-half-hour drive with stops. Yeah. And I was very tired Sunday night, and that wasn't Monday until, what, 3 o'clock. So I had home. I had to. I got home at, like, 3 in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understandable. Um, but I just, I just stood out on the front deck. I mean, we had like, I think, 90 percent coverage. It was incredible. It was um, neat to see. Yeah. Uh, and I had seen the one in it, 2017. I was in uh, Gallatin, Tennessee for the that was where the center of totality mm -hmm. was going to be uh, in. I think I saw your video because you posted it that day. I I, yeah, that. I did. Yeah. But um, yeah. a lot of people were filming with their drone and, and, and other things. And I got a couple here. One is from Ooh. our good buddy, Chris Hope. Chris Hope uh, is, of Chris, course, he's going to come hang out with us at Minefield 5.0. You're invited, Michael, to come to Minefield. Or oh, Minefield yes. meet. I, I will do everything in my power to make it happen. And you're going to arrive there in, in a fancy car, right? Maybe. I could try. Right, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Maybe. He'll we'll, make it happen. We'll see. He'll, he'll make it happen. No, don't do it. Don't. I would say don't do it because there's so many drones no. flying around. Talk about ESC yeah. fan. I don't, they wouldn't let me drive the car. Yeah. Seven, seven that's that's why I don't take my RX-8. <laughs> If if any drone is gonna uh, fall on a car, it's gonna fall on the damn cop car. <laughs> I could if uh, if it runs good, I could bring my. I'll try to bring my 180. We'll see if we can make that. Happen. Okay, all right, cool. But uh, Chris Hope sent this in. This is uh, he said. Here's my take on the Eclipse. Filmed it at the farm with the Osmo Pocket Three and the Mini Four Ooh. Pro. The music is not crap, by the way, and that is because it's Epidemic Sound. Free trial links in the description, of course, if you want to try that. It's a great library. They're adding to it every day. They've got, uh, uh, you know, instrumentals, versions of every song. This, the songs on Epidemic, you can, they're so good, you can put them on your, your playlist and just listen to them as song. Mm -hmm. They also have sound effects and everything. Epidemic sound, everything else is crap. Do you use uh, Epidemic, Michael? <laughs> well, you said everything else is crap, so I feel like I should be saying yes. <laughs> okay, okay, good. I actually, good. I use uh, Envato and MusicBed. Okay, well, that was a but, commercial, so ignore Michael. It's, a, it, it's just one Epidemic of our sponsors. Sound. It's just one of our sponsors. Actually, hey, let me mention one well, of these other car racing things. <laughs> if, you got a, if you got a free trial, I might actually just sign up right now. No, it really is good. Um, and well, yeah, you know, a lot of these like like fly by night, like Larry music, you know, where they make you mm -hmm. put uh, whatever in your description. Some of them go out of business, and then what do they do? They revoke that permission, and then. Years down the line, on a video that you use some of that stuff in, they can come back and be like, "Nope, can't use it anymore." But uh, Epi that actually has happened to me. Epidemic is like a diamond; it's forever. So I, I did make a, a little segment for Ken's video, and I, I used a, a song. Yeah. And he was like, he's like, "Oh, I can't use that for copyright strike." And he actually <laughs> sent me three versions to choose from. Yeah. Every single one of them was amazing. Oh well, thanks. Like actually, well, really good choices. Well, I, that tells me that the library on Epidemic Sound is crispy. It really is crispy. So, um, yeah. of course, Chris Hope is using that in his Eclipse video, and let's let's enjoy that now. This is Chris's farm. The cows have no idea what's about to happen to them. It's going to be night night before they're used to it. Chris is going to be at my field, by the way.
That's crazy. Isn't that great? That's awesome. That's just with the Pocket 3. I'm trying to buy one right now to use with Extreme, but they're sold out everywhere. You know, wow. I didn't think it was going to be an awesome camera, but it really is. I don't have one it's myself. So good. It really is good. Depth of focus, mm -hmm. field of view, everything yep. is it's so good on that. Uh, thank you very much, Chris, for sending that in. Um, Chris, Thanks, Chris That's does a live stream from his drone. I don't know if it's every day. It seems like it. Maybe once a week from Texas where he just films the sunrise. Um, awesome. yeah. And so, That's so cool check that out. Yeah. Chris Hope. All right. And now I have another eclipse video where his eclipse was interrupted. And uh -oh. this is a great catch. It's a short video, but he's just filming it, I think with his phone, but check this out. No, that couldn't be with a phone. Well, maybe. So he's filming the eclipse. I have to go back and see it. Oh, what was that? Oh, did you see that? Whoa. Oh, that's Oh. So that's his video? Yeah, that's his video. He's filming the eclipse. I've seen this. I saw this. <laughs> oh, no. Run, everybody, run. Oh, stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. I've, I saw that. Uh, isn't that going viral right now? Is it? Oh, oh I hope it's his. I, I saw he, that, he's, yeah. He said it was his, and I trust him. Thank you, Kirk. That's Thank crazy. you very much, Kirk. If awesome it's not, shot. then that's incredible. Yeah, that was. What are the chances of that? I know that's like you, you have to be lined up perfectly. You can't plan it. You can't. I mean, you can't. No. That that just happened organically. Yeah, that's incredible. Wow. Uh, I have one more video, after which we're gonna hear a wonderful joke from Michael, and then we're gonna probably qualify Ooh. somebody else. All right. This is a video from Robert Bosek. It says, hey, Ken, a little bit of Loch Ness. Five in the morning. <laughs> Weather was unusual for Scotland. Hope you like it. So here, here is Loch Ness. That was nice. That, that was very relaxing, but not as I'm relaxing still... as the Raz. Let's go ahead and step into the Raz chamber. Michael, you've never been in the Raz chamber before, have you? Hmm? I, I haven't. Okay, well, this is a special little place I'm still, I'm, I'm... where everything is perfect and wonderful and all the troubles of the day just melt away as we sit here and dip our toes and our crotches in this purple and blue goo and let all the the warmth just get all up in your naughty bits. Relax, <laughs> sit back, it's our seventh inning stretch. There's only one rule, do you know the rule? What is the rule? There's one rule, and the one rule is please, refrain from farting in the wrath. And now, enjoy. Mmm, mmm, so nice. Oh my god, who did it? Who was it? Who farted in the rat? I just said. I just It wasn't me, I promise. Said it was, it was Paul Slothberg. It was Paul. I can't say his name. Slothag. Paul, what are you doing, man? You know the rules? Ah, oh, Michael. I just we just said, don't fart in the rat and what did he do? I know it's relaxing. You can't let it all go, man. Good lord. People I don't any, know who's having more fun, me any, or the people watching the stream. <laughs> any decorum, <laughs> any bit of decorum in the... You are desecrating the Raz. No Raz in the supercar. <laughs> no. You know what's even more fun? This. 
That is uh, Mr. Beauchart. And this is a poster that I had made of this fantastic image. And I will be giving this away at uh, Minefield. And I hope, you're, I hope you can make it because, my goodness, who doesn't want this? This is, uh, this is one of two. That is beautiful. Yeah, and uh, I, I hope, Beauchart, that you can make it so that you can sign it right here. All right? <laughs> got, I got you one, and then I'll give a one away as a prize. Your thoughts, if Fantastic. any, Michael. Your thoughts. Uh, I, I will, I will make it out there. Okay, good. I mean, that, <laughs> I that, need that is, I need that. That is too much sex appeal. Too much. That I don't think I can handle that. Actually. Right, 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 right. So I was gonna. What was I gonna do? Oh yes, your joke. Tell us a silly little joke. Ooh, well, so there was this musician, right, who got into a, a car accident and his uh, guitar was destroyed. Uh huh. Unfortunately. Yeah. I guess you can call it a fender bender. Fen. Oh, because Fender is a brand of <laughs> guitar. Oh, I like that. That's good. That is really good. <laughs> Somebody, who is it? Uh, Wayne Groval? I can't, my eyes. Um, Somebody said, ah, my eyes, my eyes, I'm going blind. Yes, that's because of <laughs> all the sex appeal. And that was inspired by the original. And that is Jeff Sills right there. The little man <laughs> in the boat. Yes. So right now, I guess we go ahead and pick me, pick me. Is it time? It is time. Michael, just to make it fair, do we dare? I know we said we're going to get one more qualifier. Do we dare do two yes. more, a member and a non-member? Can we do that? Can we bend the rules? Let's bend them. Let's bend them one more time. Let's one, bend them. One member, right, one non-member, just to keep it fair, OK? Wow. Sounds good. Wow, a fender bender. Hmm. That good was, one, right? Yeah, that that is a good one. <laughs> All right. So again, somebody's gonna qualify. Oh, we got some people in here just spamming. Yeah, well. We're trying to cheat this. I like it though. Yeah. This dedication. And uh, there is a spring sale going on right now, as Michael said, right here on the yes. website. Thirty percent off. Weekday experiences. Yes, the, that is correct. TheExtremeExperience.com. Here is the racetrack right. fleet. Look at all these cars. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> all right, I got to remember. You do. All right. You got. You got. You got somebody else. And that's. And then. That's a lot of people. A non -member. My apologies to people who watch this stream later. Had to be watching watching live for this, unfortunately. Uh, Philip Koshat, 10 bucks. Thank you, Philip. Got my Thursdays confused and missed half the show. Here's a tenner for the replay. Thank you, Philip. Oh, no. uh, Ken that's, Torbeck. That's dedication. Uh, oh, yes. He says, Ken Torbeck says, what? No moment of silence for OJ? Sure. There's a moment of silence. All right. Was that too? Was that too short? OJ, yeah. uh, Michael, were you were you even alive when OJ uh, was in court? Were you weren't you teething uh, at that point? It was in the. Yes, I think I was still correct. I think I was still uh, crapping myself. Yes. Okay, what year were you born? Just for reference. <laughs> I was born ninety one. I'll be thirty two years shortly. Okay, so I think the OJ stuff happened like ninety five, didn't it? Four something. So yeah. So I was I was I was I was a little 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 guy. Yeah, you were chewing on your baba. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, OJ was trying to fit in that glove. <laughs> yeah. Um Rob Muller says, Great show, guys. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate that. So we have all our qualifiers. Yes, we do. All right. Should we, we have eight? Should we pick a winner right now? Is it time? It is not time. No, let's it is. Do it. Nope, it's not. Nope. Oh, okay. nope. That was just a tea. All right, let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Let's do. Nope, 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 nope. Not now. I just want to see how many times Michael would get out of his his chair there. All right. No, we okay, got something else. We got to. No, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. No, I'm just kidding, Michael. Just, just kidding. Okay. All right. What? <laughs> My heart's pumping right now. I know. I'm we got to talk about supercar. We've got to talk about Remote Pilot 101. RemotePilot101.com. Now you are part 107. Certified, of course. Yes. Michael? Yes. And uh, Just got it. 
Oh, you did just get it. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Well, when I first got mine, I heard this was in 2016. I'm a, you know, OG. So back in 2016, everybody was saying, ah, you don't have to pay for someone to, to teach you this stuff. The, the FAA gives you all that information for free. And I said, yeah, that makes sense. So I trusted the government and I went and I studied <laughs> and I failed miserably. I failed the first time I took it. And then I looked around and I saw this guy with a smile that is visible for three statute miles. And that guy is Jason Shepard. This guy right here. He is a, 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 a pilot, a manned pilot. He's a author. He's a tanned god. And he wears two watches. And you can trust anyone that wears two watches, by golly. 100%. That's yes. true. Yes. So all, all of the uh, curriculum is updated regularly according to any sneaky stuff the FAA tries to put in their Part 107 test. And uh, you can get a discount. Use Heron 18 right there to get 30% off. All right. RemotePilot101.com. Yeah. I wish I had all these discount codes earlier. Yeah, well, it's been Heron 18 forever and ever and ever. You can get 30% oh, off. And uh, then you're just a hop, skip, and jump away from becoming a man pilot at m0a.com. So go there and uh, tell them Ken sent you. Thank you very much, Jason. All right. Well, you know, I I also used Remote Pilot 101 also. You did? I could have saved some money. You didn't I use did. the code? I didn't. I didn't know there was a code. I'm oh, sorry. man, yeah, there's a code. Somebody should have told you about the code. <laughs> But what I can say is that because of that, I passed with a 94%. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I mean. Which you only, you only need a 70, but. Right. But uh, you know, the, the. Taught me so much. The METARs and the sectional charts. Yep. I thought, oh, there's no way. I think way. weather. Yeah, weather was like, I think my biggest struggle. Yeah. And they just, it was it, after so many things that like I was iffy on. Yeah. Were made so clear after doing this course. Because I started with all the, you know, the free tests that are floating around and the actual documents that the FAA right. gives you. Yeah, don't. Uh, and I was good. like, this, yeah, it made me not want to go take it. I'm like, I'm not ready. I did that for, I think I crammed it out in four days and went and took the test, 94. Right, right. And so there's just it, something so about it. Jason that makes you yeah. want to remember the information because he looks like he'll uh, be disappointed yeah. if you don't pass. <laughs> he, he would, he would be disappointed. But now, but now, Michael, you know what a lenticular cloud is, don't you? I do. I do. I know what a lot of clouds are. Yeah. I never knew what they were before. It's very so. important. And you know, like, for instance, you know uh, if you can fly here or not. Right? All that yes. crap on there, you can read that. That hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can too, which is crazy. So. I actually love it because at least now before I go to a racetrack, I'm able to know how to check the area the track is in, make sure I could fly, mm -hmm. um, be able to verify everything see if there are events going on around there if i do have to call for clearance ahead of time right right oh that's an awesome mug once again i'm, I'm lagging behind here i'm seeing it now oh that's all right okay so that's now cool. it's time let's go ahead and draw for the no i'm just kidding um, uh that's see i knew it i knew it no I knew no, it. no 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 you know what you know what let's let's see what did i forget is there anything else no it's it's probably time is it time <laughs> it's oh uh, Bob Casey says, congrats on getting your 107, Michael. So that's nice. Thank you. I appreciate Very it. Very nice. It's um, such a weight off of your shoulders after, like, putting it off for so long. Like, if, if any of you are hesitant, like, do one of these courses. I'm telling you. Do do that course, and it's just going to change your perspective. It really and is. once you're all done, you could just go fly. You don't have to, like, worry about someone coming up to you asking for your part 107. No oh. one's going to pull you over in the cop car. Right. Yeah. While you're driving a Ferrari. Right. And ask for yeah. Your license. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, it really is a, a relief to get that. And after yeah. you take your initial, the recurring yeah. test is it's free and online and you don't have to worry about it ever again. Mm. And you can keep yep. remotepilot101.com as a resource to refresh yep. your knowledge as you go. All right. So I guess it is time to go ahead and, right. and give this thing away. Are you going to set up the, um, yes, the tire? I'll, I'll move. I'll move the uh, camera here. So yeah. So I, the idea, the plan was anyway, uh, is that we're going to put all the the qualifiers in the tire and then roll the tire and and then well, we're going to see which one falls out or what are, are you just going to pick one, let it mix up with the tire. Or what are we going to do? 
I think we just let it mix up. I don't know if they'll fall out necessarily. Yeah. What kind of tire is that, so by the way? See, is that a, so this is a Pilot Sport 4S, I believe. Let me what, car, what, car would that go, what car would that go on? Oh, no. The, yes, this is Pilot Sport 4S. These, I mean, we have multiples. It depends. Some of these cars have unique sizes that maybe Michelin might not make specifically in this. So we, I mean, we use some Michelin. We have some Bridgestones, I believe. Right. Um, and, we ran Goodyear for quite a while. We did their, and, what and, they call this, and, their supercar F4s. I just want to tell you, Michael, that I appreciate you dressing up for this. You are wearing the right attire. <laughs> ah! um, well, nobody nobody ah! that I work with will have the, the right hear the end of it. If... Attire. You see? You see what I, see what I did there? You're wearing the right attire. Now I am. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm wearing the right tire. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. So he's going to set that up. Is everybody, is everybody ready? Everybody, I think we're good to go. Everybody's ready. Oh, this is so, this is so. Okay. They're rolling. Should I keep rolling and see if one falls out? Oh, one fell out. Should I? Wait, let me get the it? right. I want to get the right tension music. There we go. All right. We are about to draw four. All right. We're going to do, we're going to do one more time. A drive in one of these fantastic supercars as we mix up the entries. Who is it gonna be? Um, Fast roll, what's one gonna fly out? Ooh, this one flew out first. Oh, oh, you did get one, okay. And so the this winner of a, a drive of a supercar of your choice. Oh, I'm tearing it, wait, don't tear it. Is. <laughs> SKS Video Guy. Ah! SKS video guy. I think that's Scott. I think we know him. That is awesome. SKS video guy right there. Oh my gosh. He's going to love that. Congratulations, Scott. SKS video guy. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. And uh, so are, they, are they 18? Are they at least oh, 18? Oh, they're, they're way over 18. Way. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scott. I'm just kidding. He's barely over 18. Still wet behind the ears. <laughs> Uh, so awesome. let's see. Hey, congratulations, Scott. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you for being a part of this. Yeah. We're going to get you behind the wheel of any supercar of your choice that we have back here. And you're going to be able to drive them on a racetrack near you. Yes. Yes. Oh, what a fun time. What a fun time. And, That's um, exciting. sometimes, uh, Scott is in the discord after the show. So again, if, if one of the moderators would put the link to the discord, uh, the, sh the show is coming to an end here momentarily, but we're going to all hang out in the Discord, and I think Michael's going to even try to hop in there, and we can uh, ask him any further questions. Yes, and remember, if you did not win and you are still looking to experience this, we are doing 30% off one more time. Mm -hmm. um, sorry to, to plug this. I know we didn't Oh, absolutely. No, but, well, I guess it? we yes. did. did. Yes, did yes, yes. With the drive? Yeah. <laughs> so these are the yeah, locations. Yeah, 30% off Spring Sale. Right here, right? These are your locations that you have right now on this map that, uh, that you're yes, not seeing because of the lag behind, but if yeah. it's on the website, yes, 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 yes. So, so we are, yeah, we're all around the country. So. There's a location near you. All right. hundred percent. The extreme experience.com. Yes. And you have, um, with, with an, X's and off. Yes. Extreme experience. <laughs> and, uh, you have another option that, uh, we're going to do together. You and I is the, the, um, the regular road Open option. Road. Open road. Yes. So we, yes. So we also have an open road program. So if, you know, driving these things, driving these things on track is incredible because one, there's no cops. Once again, you don't have the drone yeah. um, police officer pulling you over, uh, but there's no cops. You can go as fast as the track will and your abilities will allow you to. But if you want some more time in these cars, you really want to experience like what it's actually like to own a supercar, not just drive one on a racetrack. We right. have our open road program. So if you look on that map, if you go to our website, you'll see all the blue dots. Those are open road locations. And they're some of the most scenic areas around the country. We've actually had employees that went out, scouted all these roads for days to find the best possible routes. And you could choose to do either a one hour tour, a two and a half hour tour, a half day or a full day. Wow. Now, if you do a half or a full day tour, you actually get to drive one of each of the cars. So for our open road events, we have these Lamborghini uh, Huracan Evos that are behind us. We have the <laughs> Ferrari 488 GTB and the Porsche 911 GT3. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if yeah, if you do a half or a full day, you get to drive each one of those cars. You kind of swap out throughout the day. 
if you do the one hour, two and a half hour, you would pick the car that you want to drive. Now I had, um, when I was on the, when I was on the track, the car was making mm -hmm. a, it was making a, a sound, like a yappity sound. It was, it was this constant um, sound in my right ear. And I don't know if there was, it was the brakes or I don't know what it was. It was coming from somewhere in the passenger area. Uh, I don't know what yes, that was. Uh, it was a little distracting slash helpful. It's distracting slash helpful, <laughs> but it would be nice to, to not have that noise. It, will the open road program have that noise? So, no. Uh, for those of you that don't know what Ken might be possibly talking about, we do, when you do our track programs, we do have an instructor that's with you in the right seat. Yeah. Uh, but they are there to make sure that you're safe. Um, we have right. a lot of people that come and do this that may have never been in a car like this before. Yeah. Um, and we don't know everybody's background, really, with, with, with vehicles. Yeah. Um, but their, their whole goal is to not hold you back. They're trying to make you go as fast as possible, but it all depends, too, on, you know, if you get in the car and you're not listening to them, you're not paying attention – they're telling you to do something and you're not doing it. Uh, they're going to make you go slower because their life is also in your oh, hands. Oh, absolutely. While you're yes, it's. So I'm. I'm just joking, the, of course. Yeah. Oh no, no, definitely. But so just to explain it, just so people know. But with the open road, what Ken is talking about is you do not have anyone that is in the right seat with you. It is just you and the car. You could bring a brother, sister, girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, whatever, uh, cousin. They only have to be, I believe, it's 12 years old and older except for new jersey and illinois where you have to be 18 i believe okay. um, but you could bring anyone that you want with you in the car and you could experience it together so the way the open road program works is you may have seen this cadillac ctsv that we have over here we have this blue one and we have another black one that is um, kind of in the back and basically they're the lead and follow cars so the entire group will have two evos 248s and two 911s with the Cadillacs up in front and behind, everybody has radios, and it's a guided, curated route um, that was specifically designed to just give you the most breathtaking scenery while you're driving some amazing supercars on America's best back roads. So, at so some the open road program at, at, is so much fun. At some point, there's like eight supercars that pull into like an Exxon station, I'm sure, right? That is correct. That, that's yeah. got to be so an, we, an we event. We them up, yeah. Yes. Right. We, uh, the views... People will literally watch, they'll stare at you like, what is, because, you know, we'll go, like, for example, I went to uh, Traverse City in Michigan, beautiful area. We do an open road event that's there, and uh, you'd be driving down this little town, and everyone's just like, you know, you have literally eight supercars drive by, and they're just like, just jaw dropped, you know, yeah. and you feel like a million bucks. You know, you're in the car, you're in a Huracan Evo with the top down. Yeah. You know, just give, you know, it's, it's such an incredible feeling. There's no price um, you can put we, on a little bit of peacocking. <laughs> it's, it's that is correct it's it's pretty it's yeah. pretty fun yeah <laughs> and um, the other thing too is if you do our uh full day tour um we also have lunch at a predetermined location that's uh, you know usually a very high-end place lunch is also catered for taken care of um so it's if you want to do it for an entire day i mean it's really good too if you want to do a vacation so you've always wanted to go to michigan you live in california or something or you wanted to go to sonoma wine country and you live in New York, you know, it's a really good thing that you could book out in the future. And then you could make that experience part of your getaway, part of your, uh, um, your vacation. Um, so it's a really good supplement to that as well. If that's something you're, you're looking to do. And what a great gift for that car person in your life that doesn't yes. know about this. Cause I've told a lot mm -hmm. of people about this and like, wait, what you can do that. You know, there's mm -hmm. still, I'm yeah, sure not... you travel around, you meet people like, what, what do you do for a job? That's a thing, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's, so. it's pretty crazy. It, it is a great gift. And actually, we have a lot of people that, that gift this to, um, you know, brothers, daughters, sons, that kind of thing, both the track experience and the open road. We do have gift cards that are available um, on our website. So if you don't know exactly, say, what car they want to drive, are they even going to be free on that day that you want to buy them an event? You know, are they going to be free to even do that? So you can't get a gift card as well, um, and you can give them that, and then they could book it um, themselves. So there's multiple options. Cool. Um, yeah. Excellent. And, it, and it's a gift that no one would expect. Like it's something different, you know, it's it not is something different. don't get dad a tie. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. All right. Awesome. Well, uh, we're going to have to wrap this up and, yep. uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing your, uh, Avada two with us. I'm going to get mine Saturday. I'm going to do a little filming Sunday. And, um, so I'll, I'll have a video out uh, soon as well. And you know, I'll give you I my honest opinion. <laughs> if it sucks, of course I'll tell you. you. But I, I'm guessing it won't suck.
I'm uh, guessing. It's it. it's really good. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm always it's afraid of. That's what happened with the um with the DJI mic two. Because you know yes. people don't know I'm not a a millionaire YouTuber. You know, well, I tell you honestly what mm -hmm. I what I did with the the mic two. Sometimes I'll order something because DJI won't send me stuff. They just won't because I'm not in their affiliate program. I'm not a corporate shill. So I'll buy it just like everybody else from Amazon, right? I'll do a video on it, and then I'll return it to Amazon if it sucks. But what's happened Ooh. is, all, like the DJI mics thing, I was like, ah, damn it, these are awesome. Going to have to keep them, you know? So I imagine that's they what's going to really happen nice. with the uh, Avada 2. And with well. the Osmo 3, with the Osmo 3 too, I know that the Mic 2s pair with it, which I'm pretty excited about. Because I want to actually that. use the Osmo 3 to get rollers of cars. La, 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 la. I don't need to hear this awesome stuff. Mm. All right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, like I said, we're going to head into uh, the Discord here in a minute, but I guess that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the show half as much as you would have if it had been twice as good. Appreciate you hanging out with me. M Michael Ingram. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. From Extreme Experience, we're going to hang out again and do more car stuff, right? Yes, sir. Right. Open Road is next. Right. Oh, excellent. All right. Thank you, Jeff Sills, very much uh, for the news. Thank you, Drone Rob, for making this experience happen. And Keith, of course, I know you're out there. He was saying, I want to be the cameraman on the open road. Okay. All right. Well, we'll figure something out. And uh, thanks to every single one of you for supporting this wacky channel that I have. I really do appreciate it each and every one of you. My apologies again to those who are watching this stream after it's live. You didn't win the ride, but we'll have more giveaways, I'm sure, with Extreme Experience in the future. Until next time, buh. Bye. That's it. That's it. <laughs>
and joy pigeons are king. Pigeons are king. The kettle and the frost is me. They are. And joy pigeons are king. Pigeons are king. And you give your family a treat. It's endless nutrition to help them grow. And it's full of fiber to make them grow. You and your pigeons are king. Funny. You'll enjoy Thursday Night Live with Ken Hammond and Kelly Jeff and Bo Sharp too. There'll be fun and quizzes, and Kelly's misses, the bird is the word in the news. It's the number one live stream, it's got pizzazz. There's only one rule, don't fart in the rats. If you think it's funny, super chat some money, cause TNL is here for you. Yeah.